Well, welcome to the old classic car channel. In this collection, we're looking at pre war Austins, and to begin with, we've got BRB 809. This is a 1935 Austin 10.4 Ripley Sports. Quite a rare coach built version of the Austin 10.4. That's followed a uh, photograph at Loughton Park. This was at a VSCC meeting. We've got a race prepared Austin 7 here based on the Ulster. I presume it's an Ulsteroid, a replica of the original 1930s Austin 7 Ulster racer. Head on view now of a mighty Austin 6 MV1265. This is a 1932 Austin 16.6 Tora. A very handsome machine indeed, early 1930s. Now that lost in seven this time, a chummy FH5471 of the mid to late uh, 1920s. This is a fairly early one. It's got the lamps on the scuttle as opposed to on the front wings next to the radiator. Another Austin 7, this one a bit later, ANT287, this one dates to 1938. This two-door Tora is an Austin 7 Opal, O-P-A-L. Continuing with these pre-war Austins, we've got a lovely four-door saloon here, CAE191. This is an Austin 12-4 Ascot saloon. Two-tone colour scheme, this was at the Chumley Castle Classic Car Show quite a few years ago. Anyone know where it is now? Back to Austin 7s, we've got another little Austin Ulster style sports car here, a little two-seater. No doors, you have to clamber in, a bit of a tight fit if you're quite tall. Nice little ruby here, BLD 776. This one dates and was put on the road in November 1934. It's been sawn for a little while, so uh, hopefully we'll see this one out and about at classic car shows before too long. A wonderful little pickup truck here, UJ6747. This was at the Kelsall Steam Rally a little while ago. This is an Austin that light 12.4 pickup dating to 1936. Note the solid wheels that the commercial versions were fitted with. And here, OSU576 is an Austin 10 Cambridge of 1938. Very much a barn fine condition car. Has it been restored yet, I wonder? Carrying on with these Austins, one of the earliest Austins to feature in this particular video. We've got a 1913 Austin 10. This was at the Tatton Park Classic Car Show in the mid-2000s, so going back a little while. Down to Borton on the Water, the Cotswold Motor Museum, we've got this Austin 7 Nippy from 1935. Smart little number here. This is the Austin 10-4. These were built from 1932 to 1934. Some of the saloons had a slightly wider body. This is a narrow body car. Really nice little Austin 7 Chummy here. YL5233 again with the lamps mounted on the scuttle. One hundred five XUX is a re-registered Ruby, uh, first put on the road in October of nineteen thirty-four. That's a reissued number plate. That wouldn't be the original plate that it started life with. Same with this uh, little lost in here. This is another example of the Opal uh, rear view this time of these two-seat Tora versions of the Austin Seven One Three Eight XUS. What a smart Tora this is, what a lovely thing this is. You can tell it's early 20s by those carriage type door handles. Um, this one actually dates to 1922. It's been on tax since 2014, um, so quite what's happening there. I do not know. Now to the NEC, the classic car show, one of the club stands. We've got TK9552, this is 1936 20 horsepower limousine. What a majestic machine that is. BXB218 is a light 12.4 Ascot. Slightly earlier Austin alongside it as well, 1920s that one. Here's an interesting car, NSK850. This appears to be a special body car based on an Austin 7. I don't think it's a factory body looking at it, a very shallow windscreen on this one. The hood doesn't look original either, so I'm guessing this has been built up at some point in its life. Now to an Austin 10 Drivers Club rally many years ago, we got BOR734, which is another example of the Austin 10 Cambridge. Uh, this one's currently sold and out of use, so it was first registered September 1936. A 
the vintage Austin here, wonderful uh, two-seat Tourer. Very smart indeed. Anyone know the story of this particular car? This one I think dates to 1929. It's an Eaton Coupe, a drophead coupe. And a lovely commercial vehicle. Again, how original is that? The paintwork is just to die for. Beautiful SJ848. That one dates to 1935. And again, is a 12.4 pickup truck. Looking somewhat dishevelled is another example of the Chrome Rad Austin 10 4 of 32 to 34. And again, it's a narrow body car. You can tell um, by how far the rear wings stick out from the bodywork. This is narrow body, and later we'll see a wide body. And another little commercial Austin 7 here, HPG 98. Uh, Ruby era, so sort of mid to late 1930s. Another Austin 10 4, UJ 1355. Uh, this one's a little four door tour, a four seat four door tour, quite a rare sight now. Uh, I think this was also at the Council Steam Rally. That's a little commercial version, another Austin 7 van, this one based on the earlier Austin 7, a chrome radiator car. What a bonny little machine that is. That was at an evening meeting in 2021. Now, it's not a Ruby, but it looks very similar. This FHK913, this is a Big 7 from 1937. It's a four-door car. They never did a four-door version of the Ruby, so it has to be a Big 7. Now, a rear three-quarter view taken at a rainy Tatton Park car show, AXY319. Another example of a 10-4. This is a wide-body car. Back down to Borton on the water, we've got this fantastic Austin taxi. That's a really smart thing. 1935 is the date for that one. Covered over 800,000 miles. Driven to South Africa and back, apparently. Now, Chumley again, CTU 416. Yeah, that's a very smart Austin. That's a Litchfield, which was the later version of the 10-4, but the chrome rad had gone to be replaced by that painted radiator cowl. This was at a VSCC event in 2021. Very original, wonderful little Austin 7 Chummy RT2609. Back down to the NEC, we've got BLM942, an Austin 12.4 low loader taxi. If you're a fan of these pre war Austins, too, please say hello in the comments and let me know. Now, slightly later Austin, this one's a maroon Austin 12 new Ascot. This was similar to the car that came before, but I believe the engine was moved a little bit further forward to increase passenger space. So the early 1930s, we've got a fantastic van version of the 10-4, um, and like the 12-4 pickup we saw before, this is on solid disc wheels, um, which is a sign of the commercial versions. A little rare coach-built car here, AKX111, and Austin 7 Arrow. What a neat little car that is. Another larger pre-war vintage Austin, RO9263. Now this one dates to 1928, has a 1.8 litre engine rather. Sticking with the bigger Austins for a moment, we've got this one here, a lovely four-door saloon. Got the suicide rear hinge doors at the back there. Anyone know more about this particular car, please let me know. Down to the NEC again, we've got DKN66. This is an 18-horse Hereford, or Hartford rather. Very nice indeed too. Two-tone paint scheme, quite a rare sight now. The larger Austins don't seem to have survived as well as the Sevens. Another fantastic little pickup truck here, BMO441. This is based on the 12.4, and again, solid disc wheels there. Heavier duty compared to the uh, wheels and more normally found on the saloons. And this is an Austin 16. These were introduced in the late 1930s and also built just after the war. JOC288, this one actually dates to 1948, but it's pretty much identical to the pre-war cars. Back to Austin 7's, JC 1527, it's a lovely example here, in two-tone black and navy blue. AOX 398, this is a fairly rare Austin 12.6 from 1935. 
but this period the small six cylinder engines were all the rage and this is Austin's offering quite a smart car I like the wheels great little Austin chummy here again with the lamps on the scuttle I'll look this one up and it actually dates to 1927 Another fine saloon here. What a beautiful car that is. Looking oh so original is this Austin 10 Cambridge. This was at the Mulpus Steam Rally a few years ago. Looks like it's just been pulled out of a barn somewhere. A really original paint and all the better for it, I think. Somewhat shinier, AGT 527, that's a 1933 Austin 124 taxi. A much later fairway alongside there, there's quite a gathering of taxis at this particular show as I remember. And continuing with these pre-war Austins, another great little Austin 7 at a VSCC event last year, WE3360. That um, dates to 1928, as the standard 747cc side valve four cylinder engine under its bonnet. A little bonny car here, uh, EEV 532, Austin 7 Ruby, 1936, according to the sign in the windscreen, very helpful. Another wonderful vintage Austin here of the 1920s, chunky artillery steel wheels. Fantastic car, Tora, four-door Tora. Again, you can see the carriage handles, which indicates probably early to mid 1920s in date for this particular one. And here we have a swallow-bodied Austin 7 GP 7171. What a stylish little car that is, with a V windscreen, a little air trumpets on the top of the scuttle there. Really, really nice. This is another rare example. This is CRB 151, another example of the Ripley bodied Austin 10.4. This one from 1936. This was at an Austin 10 Drivers Club rally quite a few years ago in Whitchurch. Another museum exhibit here. We've got a militarised Austin 8 Tora. You can tell the military ones because of those funny scoops on the side of the bonnet panels. Um, later on, we'll have a picture of a civilian version of the Tora. Here, a mid 1920s, uh, probably an Austin 12, I would have thought, Tora. Four door, four seat Tora, roof raised in this case. Lovely little Austin 10 Cambridge here as well. Seems to be quite a few good ones of these in preservation, but you don't see them at shows all that often now. But this is really nice. That's a Devon registration, probably Exeter or thereabouts. This was in the barn find display at the NEC restoration show a few years ago. This is CYD787, that's an Austin 146 Goodwood. Has it gone on to be restored yet? Certainly a little bit of work to do there. To the Haynes Motor Museum, and this, this is John Haynes's first car. This was his Austin 7 Special. He wrote a book about building of this particular car, and that led to the Haynes workshop manuals being created. Back to Borton on the Water and the Cotswold Motor Museum. We've got a rear three quarter view of a lovely little two door Tourer. What model is this one? Can you let me know in the comments, please, if you know? Nice dicky seat in the back there as well. Looking somewhat derelict, there's this very sad but very, very rare Austin van. I hope that goes on to be restored sometime. I did see that a few years previously and it was looking a bit healthier than that, but when I saw it this time, it was looking pretty tired. Great little Austin 10, two door here, chrome rad, 32 to 34, as I've said before. This one registered ALA 791, still its original registration, presumably, and that's great to see. No one's robbed it as yet. Another Austin 7 Swallow. This is down in the Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust collection at Gaydon, alongside the British Motor Museum. Oh, so original this one, AON 925, what a beauty that is, that little Austin 10 Cabriolet, wonderful little car that is. Still plenty more pre-war Austins to go, we've got a rear three quarter view now of a left hand drive Austin 10-4 with a Finland plate on the back there. This had come over for the Austin 10 Drivers Club Rally 
held at Whitchurch, of which uh, several of the photographs appear in this collection, including this one, I think, EPA 977. This is 1936 Austin 10 Colwyn Cabriolet, I believe. Please do not touch a very, very dusty Austin 7 box saloon, BF4425. I think that's probably a reissued registration of more recent times. This car put on the road in May of 1929. The mighty mid to late 1930s Austin here, AWW623. This is an Austin 18 York of 1935. Later cars had the solid disc wheels. This is still on the spoke, probably one of the last years for spoked wheels. Now a pair of Austin 7 Tourers, we've got an early chummy on the left there, and a, what was that, an Opal alongside it I think. Yep, two-seater Opal with the ruby style front end by that point. Great little Austin 10 4 Saloon here, narrow body again. Just a few more pre-war Austins to go. A little Austin 10 4 saloon here. I think this is the wide body, slightly wider body there at the back. There's a very bright example VH7487. That's an Austin Tourer, dates to March of 1935. That registration series comes from Huddersfield and ran from 27 all the way through to 1936. FLG 430 is an Austin 12.4 new Ascot, another example of the new Ascot with the engine mounted a bit further forward in the chassis, as I've already mentioned. Staying at the NEC, BPF 111, another example of the 10.4 saloon, very handsome little cars, just a little bit bigger than Austin 7, probably a bit more usable too. If I was going to buy a little Austin saloon, this would be the one I'd get. Talking of Little Austin Saloons, we've got a 7 here, EJ2574. Another big 7 here, you can tell that. And it's slightly different shaped radiator compared to the Ruby. Please do not touch. Wise words, this is a 4 door example. This was the last outing really for the pre-war Austin 7s. Here, another Austin 7 Swallow, slightly different radiator compared to the previous one we saw down at Gaydon. Lovely, lovely little car. Like I say, the split V section windscreens just look superb, I think. DLO996, that's another example of a 10 Cambridge, as I recall. Again, looks very original, very original blue paintwork on that particular car. Bit of open top motoring here with CJH507, a little four door tourer, possibly based on either 12.4, more likely the 12.6, judging by the number of vents on the side of the bonnet there. I'm guessing this is a 12.6 from 1935. Back to Chummies again, another scuttle lamp example. We have here this is a chrome rod austin 10 uh, four door four seat saloon version wd5563 again i think these austin 10s are very very usable cars back to the sevens and we've got a little van version here based on the ruby era so sort of mid to late 1930s add 977 Now, I mentioned Austin 8 Taurus before, we've seen a militarised version, this is a civilian version, it could be late 30s or just about post-war, but it's very much the same car, just reintroduced once the uh, war had ended, HL9643, DYE625, another example of a 10-4 or 12-4 rather taxi, probably the early 1930s, early to mid 1930s, very dependable, these often turn up in the old carry-on films and so on, carry-on cabby I think is the one to watch. FUP 631, another example of the Austin 16, a very handsome saloon. This one dates to February of 1946, but is very much a pre-war car in all but build date. And here, an Austin 7 Swallow. We've had fixed head saloons, and here is the Tora version, WX5954. 
85.6. This was at the NEC Classic Car Show, and that Austin 7 rounds out this collection of 85 photos featuring pre-war Austins. I hope that was of interest to all Austin fans out there. Plenty more videos on the channel. Please have a look around before you disappear, and there'll be more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.